Now folks, what I have for you today is an interesting military product from Britain. This is the British BCB Adventure Fire Dragon Cooker. It's a little solid fuel stove. You can technically use some liquid fuels, but primarily solid fuel. This is a cool little setup. And also, it's very inexpensive. Now, before going any further, I owe a thank you to a viewer who sent this in. Thank you so much. You know who you are. You are appreciated. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Fire Dragon Multi-Fuel Cooker. So everyone, this is what you receive if you purchase this stove. So this is the cooker itself. You have BCB written on the top. And that is a company from Britain, from what I understand, and they've been making military products for a very long time. When you purchase the Fire Dragon stove, you get only the stove and the windscreen. You do not receive any sort of fuel. What I have here is some Expedition Research Hexamine, and this stuff works very well, and also, it's very inexpensive. But you can see, it's the perfect setup inside of this cooker. Plenty of room there for multiple tablets. So, as I mentioned before, this is the windscreen. And this can be set up on either side, and check that out. That's the cooker set up with the windscreen. You can remove the windscreen. You do not have to use it. This is the very first setup. Second setup. Third and last setup. And there you go, it's shut. You can see here and here, you have those divots, and that is what holds the top plate into place. Because of the size of this tray, multiple tablets can be burned at the same time for quicker cooking and boiling. When it comes to the weight of the stove itself, with the windscreen, you're looking at 3.8 ounces. When you load it up with five half an ounce hexamine tablets, the weight goes up to 6.4 ounces. The dimensions, four and a half inches long, three inches wide, one inch thick. So when looking at the box, it says up here, BCB Adventure. That is the name of the company who made the stove. It also says on the box, Fire Dragon. That is a company from the UK who makes a certain type of fire starter. It's an alcohol-based solid fuel that supposedly is clean burning, non-toxic, and so on. You can find that stuff in the United States, but this stove does not come with any of those tablets, which is a shame in my opinion, especially since it's called the Fire Dragon Stove. It is a good thing that you can use just about any type of fuel, as I mentioned before, solid fuels, gels, some liquid fuels, and so on. As far as Fire Dragon goes, I really don't know much about this company. It's a company that doesn't have much of a foothold here in the United States, but you can find this stove in the United States and also that fuel. Talking about this stove, the cost of this is very inexpensive. This runs about eight bucks. That's not bad. I'll tell you what, everyone, I need to show you all how this works. And also it's coffee time, so it's a good excuse. On the windscreen at the bottom in the middle, it is stamped out. Have that little tab on the outside while putting the other two legs on the inside. And now you have a windscreen that's integrated into the stove. Hexamine is a very good fire starter. The only con to it is that it can smell. In fact, this smells quite bad. It smells like shrimp. And um, yeah, it's rather strong. Yeah. So once it's burning, you put it inside of the stove, just like that. You can put it towards the front, towards the back. You can also put two in there if you need to. Now folks, the performance of hexamine is very impressive. For the most part, it is clean burning. It will leave some residue on the inside, but not much. It will discolor your pots just a little bit, but it's not bad. It's suitable for extreme conditions. It's easy to light. It's very cost effective. It doesn't put out a whole lot of light if that's important to you. It's easy to store. And with a half ounce cube, they will burn for a very long time. In fact, I've had some of these Expedition Research tablets burn for roughly 23 minutes, which is a very long time for something that small. I have a 750 milliliter pot from Tokes. I'll throw that on so you can see how adaptable this is. 
Let's do something that I usually don't do, and let's go to Nasty Town, shall we? Taster's Nasty. <sighs> Let me talk. <laughs> the Blue Jay hates this stuff, too. I know. I hear you. <laughs> that is good. Really tasty. Ooh. <laughs> now that is strong, and that is nasty. Talking about the fuel here for a second, again, very inexpensive. These are the Expedition Research version. You can find these by Espit and so on. These work just as well as any other. They burn around 1300 degrees. When it comes to the pros and the cons of the stove, let's start with the pros now. The first pro is that this has a very simple design and it's a design that works very well. You can open this up, set it up, light your fuel, get this going in no time, in less than a minute. And I like that. So it's very simple, it's also very fast. The hexamine fuel or solid fuel is a good fuel. In the future, I will try out the Fire Dragon, but if you have, make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about it. The quality of the stove is very good. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. Next, this is a military surplus product. British military folks have been using this for a long time, and that's because it works well. I like the fact that it can carry fuel tablets on the inside, that's pretty sweet. It's lightweight, it's very inexpensive, and it also features a windscreen. Also, you can use different types of fuel. I like the pot support, which can be opened up or also closed. That's very cool. That way you can get this to work with any size of pot or cup. I like the fact that the fuel channel is big enough for multiple fuel tablets, so you can boil faster, cook faster, and so on. Also, when it comes to hexamine, this stuff is great for high elevation and also extremely cold weather conditions. It can be blown out rather easily. That's its only major weakness besides the fact that it smells. Now, when it comes to the cons of this stove, I really don't have many. I think it's strange that it's the Fire Dragon stove, but it doesn't include any fuel. That's okay. The fuel can be purchased just about anywhere from anyone. Speaking of which, there is a competitor product to this, and it's made by Espit. And if you purchase it, it costs a little bit more, but it does come with some hexamine fuel tablets. The cost of that one, I believe, is around $13 and the design is basically the same. It's a little bit bigger than this one, and that's about it. When it comes to the cons, I mean, it's such a simple design, it's hard to fault it with anything because it does do what it was designed to do. There is something that you need to think about. It's not really a con so much, but rather something that you need to consider. If you are going to be using solid fuel as your main heating source, do you need this stove? With a solid fuel, you can easily build a stand out of rocks. You can dig a hole and put the fuel in it, set the pot, the cup on it. You don't necessarily have to carry something that's this heavy. And again, this is very lightweight, but you know what I'm saying. There are solid fuel stoves out there that weigh less than this. So the question becomes, do you like the design of this good enough, well enough to purchase it? and only you can make that decision. For myself, I like this product quite a bit. The price is right, it's lightweight, it's versatile. I use this all the time. Thank you again to the viewer who sent this in. I do appreciate it. And there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the BCB Fire Dragon Cooker. All in all, a very good product. I can easily recommend this. Wolfpack, make sure to sound off in the comment section down below. Share your thoughts and experiences with this. The viewers in the UK, I'm sure you all have a lot of experience with this product and also Fire Dragon. So make sure to share your thoughts and opinions. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. I will see you all around again soon. Bye.